knowing the call for help could still come at any moment. Our mission happens 24-7, 365. Here at Fort Belvoir, they continue to follow CDC guidelines with most of the soldiers here already vaccinated. At Fort Belvoir, I'm Blair Miller, New Center 7. And right now, live on our free streaming app, WHIO TV Now, you can watch Blair Miller's conversations with a couple of those soldiers he talked to for that story. You can watch right now on your Roku, Amazon Fire, Apple TV, and Smart TV. Hard to believe it for a lot of us who were here and lived through it and saw the destruction. A night we'll never forget. Thursday marks two years since 15 tornadoes devastated parts of the Miami Valley on Memorial Day. Many have recovered. There are still a lot of folks who are still rebuilding everything they lost. As a part of a special report that aired Thursday, Storm Center 7 Chief Meteorologist McCall Eggs spoke with a storm damage analyst who said a lack of data means we'll likely never know how many people without insurance lost possessions or property and may never recover. But over the next two years, the tree cover will work to plant roughly a thousand trees in our hardest hit neighborhoods, everywhere from Salina to Perry Township to Beaver Creek. If the tornadoes destroy your trees or you want to donate to the tree cover campaign, we have links at our website, whio.com, and also in our free WHIO news app. And now, your Storm Center 7 forecast with Chief Meteorologist McCall Brideggs. McCall, it's been downright summer-like stretch lately. It's been hot, it's been dry, no, not a lot of rain, and my yard needs it. I'm getting this close to breaking out the sprinkler. Yeah, my husband was mowing the lawn over the weekend, and he made sure not to cut it too short, you know, because we just uh, haven't yes. had any rain recently. That's key. It is key. Yeah, it's the hottest time of year. Oh, and we aren't even into summer yet, so let's just uh, be thankful that we're getting a little warm stretch now, but we're going to start to see those temperatures going back to normal soon. That's right. Let's talk about the rain chances that we have. You can see on the radar imagery behind me that there isn't a lot happening. But as we look at our five-day outlook, there is the chance for rain that's going to return to the Miami Valley. Where we don't have much of a chance tomorrow, Wednesday, a better chance for some heavy rain and even some thunderstorms will be in the forecast. Thursday is going to be a dry day, and then Thursday night into Friday, we see even more rain that moves back in, and following that up with some cooler temperatures heading into the weekend. But Wednesday, that's the day that we need to keep an eye on because a couple of storms could become severe. When we look at our storm outlook for Wednesday, there is a marginal risk, a level one out of level five risk, that we could have a couple of storms that may become severe. Our greatest concern with those storms are going to be damaging wind gusts. Hail is possible, locally heavy rainfall, not necessarily going to lead to any flooding, and the tornado threat it doesn't really look to be something that we'll be looking at this time around. So let's talk about current conditions. When we look at our satellite and radar imagery, notice that we do have some cloud cover that is overhead. We have high pressure that is dominating the forecast, and that's what's giving us the dry skies. Off to our west, there's the rain. That rain eventually will begin to push to the east, and we'll eventually watch across the Miami Valley on Wednesday. That's that first round that I was just telling you about. Out the door in the morning, 65 degrees, so we don't really fall very far from where we are. I told you right before the break, we're all sitting in about the mid-70s, so we're not going to fall too far from that. Shorts and t-shirt weather for tomorrow. Grab the sunglasses. We will have some sunshine. Later in the day, there might be a pop-up sprinkler or shower out there, so if you just bring the umbrella with you on the off chance that there's a downpour that works through, certainly couldn't hurt you. Here's your forecast for tomorrow's temperatures. We climb to about 87, 88 degrees for the afternoon, which is well above seasonal norms when we typically should only be in about the mid to upper 70s. And then we start to cool back at those 70s later in the evening. Here's future cast for tomorrow. We start out at 8 a.m. We have the sunshine for you as you walk out the door. Quickly heating into the 70s, then the 80s. Here's 5 o'clock in the afternoon, some scattered cloud cover. A lot like we saw out there today. Might get one or two spots that get a sprinkle or a stray shower that moves through. As we get into tomorrow night, there's 11 p.m., still mainly clear. Clouds will fill in by Wednesday morning, and here come those rain chances. There's 8 a.m., off to the west, rain moving in with those thunderstorms. Notice by midday, we have some heavier rain and a few storms embedded there. Still there into the early afternoon, and then gradually decreasing as we head into the evening. Spotty shower might still be there through dinner time before the drier conditions move on in 
for your Thursday. Now this first round of rain, you can see we have an 88 degrees high for tomorrow. We'll knock our temperatures down to the low 80s for Wednesday and Thursday. Then on Friday, we have that heavier rain that moves back in. And following that will be the cooler weather as we head into your holiday weekend. So here's the five-day forecast tomorrow. We'll have the sunshine, a stray shower, perhaps 88 degrees. Heat index values will be in the low 90s. Wednesday, we'll have some rain and a few thunderstorms, 82 degrees as we head into your Thursday. Rain and storms again Friday, Saturday, cooler with highs near 70 degrees. And right now we want to get back to that breaking news out of Xenia that we told you about at the top of the newscast where police and SWAT officers are now surrounding an apartment there in that part of Greene County. News Center 7, Sean Cudahy joins us live with what he's seeing right now. Sean.